Hi. Hi there. Hello. How are you? I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. It's Christmas week. And if you're here watching this video, it's because you need some gift wrapping hacks. I am super excited to bring them to you. I am a master procrastinator, which means I tend to do most of my wrapping on Christmas Eve evening, which means if I'm running out of supplies, then I have to kind of try to make do with some other specialty tricks and tips that I'm going to share with you today. So let's get started. So first we are going to gather all of the supplies that we do have. Make sure you have yourself something that's going to help motivate you to work through this in the most happiest of ways. I tend to turn on a true crime YouTube video and get myself a little cannabis smoke, but maybe grab a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, a little Jack and Coke. Let's get going. The first problem we're going to solve is running low on paper. I tend to look in my pile and see multiple rolls of paper, assuming that I have a lot. And then when I take a closer look on Christmas Eve evening, it turns out I don't have nearly as much as I was expecting so let's cut our pieces too small on purpose and wrap using less so typically what you would do is you would measure make sure that you have enough to go up either side and that is still important in this instance but we don't need to go all the way across the top so typically somebody would fold their paper up to measure where you would want to cut it so that you have a little overlap but we are going to cut it about two inches smaller. Now there's no way that we are going to be able to wrap this present the standard way. So what we're going to need to do is use the diagonal method. All you need to do is turn it on its side and fold up to ensure that both of the corners are completely covered. Do they get completely covered on the other side as well? They do, yes. I'm gonna tuck it a little bit further in there and secure it with a piece of tape. Now we move on to the side. We're just going to tuck it in a little bit and bring this straight up. Do you see how vertical that is? Now with doing that, we've completely covered all of the uh, box that you probably thought I wasn't gonna get to cover, right? All right, so let's pull that tight. Same thing on this side, a little tuck in and then pull it straight up and it's okay that everything's kind of a little bit bunchy in there. It lays real nice in a second, just trust the process. There we go, so now we have both sides on the bottom. That looks so crisp and sharp and we are left with the top portion. We're going to do the same as before, but now we're gonna use both of our hands, tuck them in, get that lined up, tuck it in, get this side lined up and straight, give it a little crease and now it's easier to put it all together. There we go. How come this wrapping paper has this garbage design on the bottom? Now I gotta cut that off to make it look nice. And then secure it with a piece of tape. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful, right? That's a perfect little present. And we saved paper. Next gift. As a bonus hack, it is easier to just get all of the wrapping done at one time and then worry about all of your labels at one time, all of your bows at one time, all of your ribbon, everything else that you need to do. So in order to keep all of the gifts straight, sometimes I use different wrapping paper for each person or I'll just put their initial in the corner where I intend to put either the label or a bow. So they don't get all mixed up. This next trick solves two problems. We're gonna wrap an awkwardly shaped gift as well as make a gift bag because I don't have any Christmas gift bags. First up, we're going to need enough paper to wrap all the way around the gift in order to make our bags. Next up, just fold it like a trifold poster and let the seam overlap a little bit. And now we're going to tape excessively along this entire seam. This is not for when you don't have much tape because it's probably gonna use up all your tape. Next, you're gonna take the bottom of your little trifold poster and fold it up. You need like a few inches. So we made ourselves a little fold here. See, nice creasy fold. And now I'm gonna fold down to that line so I have a good crease for the base. Now when I pop open this bottom, I can tuck this in all the way to that crease I just made. There we go. Now when we push this flat and lay this flat, it just falls right into place. Wasn't that magical? We're going to take these points straight to the center and crease it. And this is the bottom 
of our gift bag. Now this bag is far too large for this, so I'm gonna cut it down shorter, just a couple inches above there. Pop it open, just like a lunch bag, and look at that. Isn't that so perfect? So cute. Stick your awkwardly shaped item in. You already have these creases up the side, so just fold again at the crease and fold it over. I like to turn these into triangles because I feel like it looks nicer. So then just tape that into place. I'm gonna tuck that side in too. Look at how stinking cute that is. Once we add a little bow on top, it's gonna be even more perfect. <laughs> this next trick will come in handy for when you've used all of the tape in making a gift bag, and now you need to wrap your presents without tape. So first thing that you're going to do is measure all the way around the present, and then give yourself about two inches extra. Now you're gonna take your paper and fold it into the shape of a square. And there we go. Next, take your gift and wrap over top of it until you've covered both of these corners. There you go. Now take the bottom of the present and fold it over and hold it into place. Take your fingernail along the bottom corner of your gift and just gently push it to create a crease. And this is what's going to make the tucking and folding a little bit easier since we're not using any tape, we've gotta be able to tuck and fold. There you go. So we're doing it just like before where we have a vertical line right there and we're holding this down into place. Flipping it to the other side, same thing. I'm just gonna run my finger along the bottom there to score it and then tuck and fold straight up like that. Now we have this very similar little pocket here. We're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna score along with my nail, <laughs> lean onto it to hold it in place, tuck in that corner there, pull it straight up. We're gonna flatten it all out in a second. It's still gonna look pretty, I swear. Um, now that I got that corner kind of done, let's this side in. This is what it looks like in this side. It's just kind of like smushing itself into place. Once you have everything pulled tight, just fold this over the edge so that you can identify the crease. And then you're just going to take this and tuck it in to the little pocket you've made. There you have it. <laughs> a present that required no tape. I have to say, that is a damn impressive little hack. Love. For our next trick, we are going to wrap a cylindrical object. This is usually a kid's toy or a candle, but um, most people will try to wrap it like a tube and then have like the strings so it looks like a candy on the sides, but it looks super duper messy. So first up, let's measure how much we will need approximately there. Then we'll measure how much we need for the top and bottom of the present. We only wanna go about halfway up here, about right there. So that is about two and a half inches for my gift. Secure one side into place and the other side into place. And this is where we start to tuck. So we're going to push down, increase, push down, increase, push down, increase, push down. This last one will start to form its own little triangle there. And then you're going to lay that flat secured into place with a piece of tape. And then the top is exactly the same. I like to fold it in at the seam first. Crease, fold it in, crease, fold it in, crease, fold it in, fold it in, create a little triangle there. And voila, that is a cylinder object. I think that that looks great, but we're gonna jazz it up a little bit more by adding a bow on top, but I ran out of bows. So next up, we're gonna make a bow. For this next step, grab a piece of scrap paper. The wider it is, the longer your little curlies are, and then the longer is the more wide and fluffy your bow will be. I'm just gonna fold it in half, increase. So we're going to cut up 
only to about a quarter or a half inch to the crease. So just cut all of that. Now that we have this cute little fringe cut out, we are going to curl the strings. Curl each string by just, don't accidentally cut them. Curl each string by gently pulling. See, look at it. gentle is key here. If you cut some, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be perfect because once this is all bunched up together, you're not gonna notice the imperfections. I'm actually gonna cut it about halfway. I don't think I'm gonna need all of that. Once we have it all curled, we're going to roll it into itself to somewhat disguise the ugly inside. So, rolling it up while moving the little curlies out of the way, you are left with this. Just fold it in half. And you have the cutest little bow. All right, let's attach it to our gift. Just use a piece of tape or a piece of double-sided tape, loop it and attach. I'm actually gonna secure that down a little bit more and then bluff. How cute is that? That turned out so cute for a cylinder object and we made a bow. It takes a long time, but if you ran out of bows and you need to make something beautiful like this, that's thinking cute. This last trick is just a fancy way to wrap a book or another uh, rectangular shaped box item. So first you wanna measure that the bottom of the paper doesn't go all the way up the side. It needs to go more than halfway, but not all the way up because we wanna keep it nice and pretty on the bottom. So there, and then the top of the paper should wrap about halfway down the front of your gift. And this is where you're going to hold that position. Now we're going to tuck in the side here all the way to the book and make a crease on that paper as well as the top. We've kind of made like two triangles here using the binding of the book. Then we'll do the same thing to the other side. We'll pull this corner towards the book and then crease this triangle. Okay, so now we have the basic shape of our wrapping complete and it feels like a paper airplane. We're going to fold this in, pull it all the way across so that it lays flat that way and then push this down and it turns out I needed a new crease. Same thing on the other side, we're gonna pull this straight across, tuck it over, and now we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. We're going to wrap it across, making this beautiful little pattern. Wrap this side across, and I'll secure on the edge here with a little bit of tape. How stinking pretty is that? Now we'll just finish off the end by tucking in these two corners. When you tuck in these two corners, you're gonna make like little triangles, little creases. Fold one side down, fold the other side down, and tape. Double-sided tape would be completely hidden and would be even prettier. And if you have a card, you can slide a card down in there. Adorable, right? And there you go, there you have it. Hopefully you found a hack to save your day when you are wrapping late at night on Christmas Eve. I'm looking at you. Love you all so damn much. Please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. Huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. And I will see you guys on the next one. Love you, bye.